Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Hey, my friends. So today we're going to do a math lesson on shapes. We've talked a lot about shapes, but let's dive deeper into shapes, right? Do you remember anything about shapes? There's lots of different kinds of shapes. There's some of the basic ones, right? Like triangle and circle and square and rectangle, right? We do know some shapes. Well, let's dive a little bit deeper into what they are. Well, let's, let's first talk about what a plain figure is. Plain figure, it's flat shapes, and they only have two dimensions. They're only two-dimensional. These shapes at the bottom are examples of a plain figure, and they are all two-dimensional shapes. Today, we're going to focus on two-dimensional shapes. Do you like to see a little bit about two-dimensional shapes? Two-dimensional shapes, a shape that only has two dimensions. It has a width and a height. It has a height and a width. People are three-dimensional, but two-dimensional means it's flat. Remember? 2D shapes are flat. 3D shapes are fat. There's a lot of differences. We're going to do 3D shapes in our next video. Let's go over some vocabulary. Polygon, a plain shape that has three or more sides. A triangle is a polygon. A rhombus is a, is a polygon. A trapezoid is a polygon. Look, square and a hexagon, those are all polygons. They have three or more sides. Do you remember what a side is? A side is a line and it's in between two vertices. Do you remember what a vertice is? Do you remember what a vertice is? A vertex. Do you remember those words? When two sides tongue come together, it makes a vertex. Can you say it with me again? When two sides come together, it makes a vertex. A vertex is a corner. Inside that corner is an angle. We'll be measuring those in third and fourth grade. I'm so excited to do that, right? Measuring angles, that's really cool. There's angles inside our, our vertex. And if there's more than one vertex, they're called vertices. Do you want to see? Vertex, a point where edges of a solid figure meet. Adjacent sides of a polygon meet, or two lines of an angle meet. See my vertex? Those are the corners. You see all those corners and those shapes? Those are very important to remember. Don't forget them. When two sides come together, it makes a vertex. And multiple vertex is called vertices. If it's more than one, we say vertices. If it's less than two, we say vertex. You got it. Another vocabulary word that we should at least expose ourselves to and get us ready for second and third and fourth grade and start getting us ready for geometry right? We want to learn a lot about shapes. In high school, you do geometry. Let's go over another big word for high schoolers. We're going to be so ready for high school and college. Quadrilateral. It's a polygon with four sides. Look at all these examples of quadrilaterals. We have a rectangle, a trapezoid, a rhombus, and a square. All of these have four sides. Some of them are equal, some of them are not, but they're all called quadrilaterals. Those are gonna be very important in high school. Great job, my friend. 
Let's go over our 2D shapes. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's the first one. Do you remember what this is called? What's this one called? Did you say circle? You got it, it's a circle. Do you see any corners in this circle? Do you see any corners in this circle? Any vertices? Do you see any lines that connect corners together? No, you don't. It has zero sides and zero vertices. Good job. I have a special song that I sing with circles. You wanna sing it with me? So we remember that it has zero sides and zero vertices. Do you remember what zero means? Zero means none. Zero means there isn't any. Remember? Zero means nothing. It means none. With circle, I like to do this. Circle, 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 pop, 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 pop. Can you do it with me? Circle, 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 pop, 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 pop. You can draw a circle in the air with me. Can you draw a circle in the air with me? Good job. Does that circle we draw have any corners? No, it's just one curved line. Great job. Let's move on to the next one. Here we go. What's this shape? What's this shape called? Did you say triangle? You got it. How do we know it's a triangle? What does it have? Do you see any sides on this one? There wasn't any sides on our circle, but what does our triangle have? Let's count them. One line, two line, three lines. You got it. How many sides are there? Let's do it again, ready? One line, two line, three line. If there's three lines, what's that word called again? Sides. How many does it have? Sides. It has three sides. Hmm, do you wanna count the vertices with me? Let's see how many vertices they are. Here we go. Let's count the vertices. Oh, we'll start with this one. They gave us one. They told us one of them. This says vertex. <gasps> That's one vertex. <gasps> Here's another vertex. Here's another vertex. Let's count them, ready? One, two, three. Three vertices. A triangle has three sides and three vertices. If it's a triangle, it's always gonna have three sides and three vertices. Don't forget, three sides, three vertices, it's a triangle. Let's sing our triangle song. You ready to sing our triangle song with me? Here we go. Triangle, one, two, three. Triangle, count with me. One, two, three, it's a triangle. One, two, three, it's a triangle. Triangle, one, two, three. Triangle, count with me. One, two, three, it's a triangle. One, two, three, it's a triangle. And why don't we count to three to remember triangles? Let me hear you. Good job, because it has three sides and three vertices. You guys are so smart. Great job. Let's move on, you ready? What shape is this one? Let me hear you. What shape is this one? Did you say rectangle? You got it, it's a rectangle. How do we know it's a rectangle? It's also a quadrilateral. Great job, my friends, it's a quadrilateral. And why is it a quadrilateral? Because it has, it gave us our first one. It has one side, two sides, three sides, and four sides. How many sides does it have? It has four sides. It has four sides. One, two, three, Four, good job. 
Let's count the vertices. It gave us one. And then we're going to keep counting from there. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four. We have four sides and four vertices. That's how we know if it's a rectangle. Great job, my friends. You know what else I noticed about this rectangle? It has two short sides and two long sides. Those sides aren't equal. They have different lengths. That's very important to remember for our next shape. You wanna see our rectangle song with me? Ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open the door, it's a rectangle. Close the door, it's a rectangle. Let's sing it again. Ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open the door, it's a rectangle. Close the door, it's a rectangle. Good job, my friends. It's a great, great way to remember it, isn't it? The next one's a little tricky because it's also a rectangle, but it's a special rectangle. Can you guess what it is? It is a quadrilateral, but it's a special kind of rectangle. Hmm, what kind of looks like a rectangle, but has its own name? Let's look. Did you guess it right? What is this one? Remember what this one is? What's this one? <gasps> Did you say square? You got it, it's a square. A square is a special kind of rectangle. It has four sides, so it's a quadrilateral, and it has four sides, so it's also a rectangle. But it's a very specific kind of rectangle, remember? What does it have? What are the sides? Does it have two short sides and two long sides? No, it doesn't have two short sides and two long sides. What does it have? <gasps> Let's read it. Four equal sides. It has four equal sides. Let's go, let's count them. Remember, we count the lines, those are our sides. One, two, three, four. They have four sides and they're all the same length. One is not bigger than the other. They're the same. They're equal. Now, how many vertices are in here? It's probably the same amount of vertices as a rectangle. Let's count them. <gasps> It gave us one already. How many? One, two, three, four. How many vertices does it have? Four, you got it. It has four vertices and four sides. And the only reason this is not a rectangle is because all four of those sides are the same length. One isn't bigger than the other. One isn't smaller than the other. They're all the same length. Good job, my friends. We do have a square song, you ready? Ready for our square songs? Square, squares are everywhere. Can you find one? Can you find one? Look around your house, find a square. Squares, squares are everywhere. Can you find them? Can you find them? Squares, squares are everywhere. Can you find them? Can you find them? Find one, go touch one right now, quick. Find one around your home. Do you see a square? Go find a square. Tell me which one you found. I'm waiting. <gasps> which one did you find? What's the shape of a square in your house that you found? Oh, great job, my friend. I'm glad you found a shape. Oh, was it a square? Oh, good, I'm glad it was a square. But there's so many other shapes in your house. Have you been looking? Oh, I bet you will be now. Here's the last one we're doing today. You ready? What shape is this? Remember what shape this is? Did you say hexagon? You got it. How do we know this is a hexagon? How many sides does it have? It looks like it has a lot of sides. Will you count them with me? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many sides does it have? Six. I'm catching on to a pattern. Are you catching on to a pattern? If it has sides, it has the same amount of vertices. So if it has six sides, it must have 
six vertices. Let's count them together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six vertices in a hexagon. Good job, my friends. There's a special song for a hexagon too, you ready? It's simple, but it helps us remember when, when we're looking at shapes, if it's a hexagon or not, right? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, hexagon. We, we count to six. To remember there's six sides in a hexagon. Oh my goodness, my friends, you are so smart. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for stopping in and, and practicing your 2D shapes with me. Remember, 2D shapes are flat, not fat, right? Flat, like paper, smushed. It's flat. The next ones we're gonna do are the solid 3D shapes. Oh, I can't wait to do them with you. Do you remember those songs that we've learned? Oh, I can't wait to teach you them again. I hope you remember them. I love you, my friends, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to practice your shapes. Find them around your house. I love you.